Hey guys, it's your boy and Gavin back with another video. In this video today, we're going to talk about whether you should start a sole proprietor or like just an ABN or should you just start with a company? Question that I get asked a lot, I see uh, floating around a lot, so let's uh, dive straight into it. All right guys, so basically the difference is obviously the cost to start and the tax rate. And I guess you have to look at it in a long, like a long-term perspective. Uh, with a, just starting as a sole proprietor, it is the cheapest to get started. Now I'm not sure what it is now to uh, register an ABN. You'll have to check. I used to, I think the last time I paid for a sole trader was like $165. That was many years ago. I don't know what the cost is now, but that basically gives you an ABN. Now, when you start to import your products from overseas into Australia, the, your, your, um, to lodge your uh, goods to uh, your shipping, your shipping agents gonna need an ABN number and also, when you get your ABN number, also register for GST as well, okay? And that's just going to make the process a lot easier. Now, um, that's going to be the cheapest option, but obviously with the ABN, the tax uh, bracket is different, the way you get taxed, uh, and also your liability as well for like a um, sole proprietor. So, one of the dangers that people... Um, I guess I'm not aware of is when you bring products into Australia you're deemed as a manufacturer even if it's regardless if it's made over in China you're deemed as a manufacturer so let's say bring you bring in electrical goods and someone gets injured or potentially dies uh, I mean it's never happened to me but you know it has happened in the future it's it's, it's not likely but it is a possibility so you have to consider it. If someone dies and you're basically the seller of that product and you sold it under an ABN, you're liable personally because the ABN is attached to basically your name. And all your assets that are attached to your name, uh, that person can then sue you if they're injured or if they die, third party can sue you and they can take and strip all your personal assets. Now, um, so, you know, you've got to weigh that in. Uh, now that's, it's not gonna, it's not likely to happen, but it can happen. Now you can get insurance, indemnity insurance, which basically just covers you for this type of thing, uh, faulty products, people get injured, and you can get like cover up to $20 million um, there is a cost to that. So the other flip side to that is you can get a company, um, register a company and everything that all the assets attached to the company. So you can, they can sue the company, but they can't like sue you. Um, now you can get another level upon that, which is controlled by a trust, but you don't really need that. So let's just focus on the company. The company is probably going to cost you. Uh, you can get it done online. There's a bunch of them done online. Uh, I think. Oh, well, I got my company done with EasyCompany.com.au, and it cost about 880, I think, plus GST. Plus, I got like the certificate and the folder and all this sort of stuff. It's a really good um, setup that they have. When you register a company, you need to delegate how many shares, delegate you as the director, and also have you need one more person. Um, so if you're starting a company, you don't have any anyone that uh, you basically need someone that you can trust, and you can just you can just delegate like one share to them. Like it doesn't they don't have to have any controlling interest in the company or anything like that. But you do need one more extra person if you want to open a public liability company. Sorry, a private company, okay? And you can just be like your dad, your mum, 
a, a sister, a brother, anyone, uncle, anyone that's basically another director. You need two directors and just like allocate them like one share and you're good. Okay, they're not going to have any controlling interest in the company at all. If you did pay out dividends at the end of the year, then you just have to pay them like 1%, which is nothing. It just, it just, uh, you just need two, two people on the, um, on the company as directors, okay? So then now you've got your company, you uh, register for GST, you'll have an ACN or a company um, number, and then you can get that onto like, it'll, now they link it with the uh, ATO, which is really good because then you can just like um, see everything within the uh, government website and you can also change, uh, make amendments within your company and it'll be directly like uh, with the, the ATO and the government, we're about to see everything like live before you had to do it like through paperwork and it was just clumsy and now they've got a really good system. Uh, personally, I recommend that you just start a company off the bat because, uh, yeah, it costs you more, but you know, if you're going to grow an Amazon business long term, and you should be thinking long term, um, you know, once you start doing tens and thousands or even hundreds and thousands of dollars, you don't want to be paying like the highest tax bracket because you're a sole proprietor. I, I don't know. I think it's like last time it was like 47%. I don't know what it is now, but it's, it's like basically nearly half of whatever you making profit you're gonna get you're gonna get taxed to me it just seems like uh, it just makes sense to start a company because the company is taxed much lower I think it's like 30% so off the bat you're gonna be saving money I mean you're basically gonna be paying less tax because you are a company so there are uh, yearly um, uh, like a, they have a renewal company it's just like a to do book work uh, every year I think it's like a couple hundred bucks so just be aware of that um, but if you just set up your company like properly from the get-go spend that extra money get the certificates and the paperwork cost you about a thousand bucks delivered um, you know you set up for success and you sort of in that mindset of okay now I've got a you know I'll, I have a company now I'm responsible and I, I want to build this company out to a six and seven figure business okay so they're the options sole proprietor or get a company um, if you got the extra cash I recommend you just go straight to a company so I hope that clears that up now um, I did say yesterday that uh, I was talking about releasing some sort of course or step by step I just put it out there just to see just to gain some interest to see if you guys are interested in and I did get a couple of people that were um, you know wanted something like startup step by step for Amazon Australia and um, so I'm just thinking about different ways I could do it so that I could deliver the content um, at a very low cost but still have a lot of value and you know me, you know, generally by the time I sort of put something together, and I usually have 30 or 40 videos, you know, my courses are pretty extensive and by the time I make more videos, uh, you know, it starts to blow up. So I just, I'm all about delivering value, but also I know that a lot of people um, need some money to start because it does take money to start Amazon business. So if, if they're going to be forking out $1,000 for education, which is, you know, well worth it, if, the, if, it's, if, if you're going to learn how to build a six-figure business, a thousand dollars is nothing. Um, but also, I understand that people are, are limited in cash. So if they can start like reasonably at a low cost, they can put more money towards the inventory. So I'm just um, throwing a few things up. If you have any suggestions, comment below. Another option is maybe Patreon, where you subscribe a monthly. There's a monthly subscription. That's an option as well. So a low-cost monthly subscription. You guys can get all the education you want and you can just stay a subscriber as long as you want. Um, so there's a couple of options there. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. So I hope that um, gives you some uh, more information on how you can start an Amazon business. Think of it long term, okay? Start and think of it, okay, this is going to take several years. It's going to probably take five years. This is what you should be thinking of. 
But after five years, if I'm making a million dollars a year, it's worth it. Don't think that this is a get rich quick because it's definitely not a get rich quick. You're building a business for, for the future and something that you can even sell down the track for multiple six figures, even eight figures, okay? So that's the way you're gonna be thinking. So you're gonna need some money to invest in it to get started. And I've seen many sellers on uh, Amazon that, you know, they're now making seven figures. Some of, some of them are even making eight figures. And they always say, hey, you know, going back four or five years ago, going back five years ago when I first started Amazon, and it's the, the story is always the same. They started from humble beginnings like four to five years ago, but they stuck with it, and now they have a six, a seven figure, eight figure per year business. And that's what you gotta do, because they stuck with it and they thought long term. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave a, leave a comment below, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'll catch you guys later on.